12 hours that's exactly all you need to set up a $100,000 social media marketing agency and in this video I'm going to show you the exact things that you need to do over those 12 hours to ensure your success so buckle up let's get right into it so the first two of the 12 hours you've got here's exactly what you're going to be doing we're going to focus on the absolutely vital things so you can get up and running as fast as possible getting results as quickly as possible without procrastinating any longer one of the keys to having success in business and in the online space is understanding that things are never just going to be perfect and acting regardless. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up your domain, your email, and your G Suite. That's going to allow you to host a website later down the line. We don't need a website to get set up because at the end of the day, we're selling a service. We don't need anyone to buy a product from a website. And also for these first 12 hours, we're going to be utilizing social media, which is completely free and it's very easy to get up and running. An email so you can plug it into your calendar software, which I'll talk about in just a second so that people receive your calendar invitations so you can actually sell them on a call and a G Suite so you can actually save files. For example, you can save recordings of the calls you're having with clients. You can create Google Docs for these client calls and the list goes on. So those are the first three things that you're going to set up. You're also going to go ahead and set up a free Zoom account so you can actually host sales calls and you can pitch to potential clients for your agency. And the final thing you're going to set up is a calendar software. I recommend either Acuity or Canally. This is so that when we initiate conversations on social media with qualified prospects within our niche, we can actually send them the calendar software instead of going back and forth and asking them, hey, does 2 p.m. work for you? And does 5 p.m. on Tuesday? And wasting all this time, we can just send them our calendar software. It's super professional. They can book in a time that works for them on your calendar. And once they book in a time, your Zoom account will actually be plugged into Canly or Acuity and they will get your Zoom link attached to that calendar invite sent via your email account that you just set up and they will also receive email notifications all the way up until the meeting so they don't miss it. So that's the first stage, the first two hours now into the next stage, which is also going to last two hours. We need to go ahead and put in place what I call the three key pillars to having a successful $100,000 social media marketing agency in 2022. The first one is your niche. Now, I obviously recommend going down the e-commerce route for a number of reasons, which I've talked about extensively on my channel. You can check out those videos. You know, you don't have any geographical limitations. You're not capped at the number of customers you can bring these clients. You can take a percentage of what you make these clients, which actually becomes the vast majority of the money that we make from our clients and the list goes on. But that is not enough. You cannot just tap into e-commerce because e-commerce at the end of the day is just an industry. It's a way of doing business. And so what you need to do is you need to pick a niche within e-commerce. You can pick one that's product-based, for example, apparel and fashion, cosmetics, health and wellness, the list goes on, or something that is more behavioral based like vegan sustainability etc etc you can even pick exciting new spaces like the creator economy or web 3.0 my point is you need to pick something because that's going to allow you to create what i call a monopoly agency a monopoly agency is absolutely vital for success because it is blissful essentially what most agency owners do and how they mess up is they start their agency and they try to compete with massive agencies that have been established for a very long time a lot of times they do this unconsciously because they don't know any better but they tap into a broad space and so that broad space is a red ocean. It's not a blue ocean. There's not a lot of opportunity in that space because it's conquered by the bigger agencies that are more established. However, what you do have that these other agencies don't have is you have agility. You have the ability to tap into a very small space and conquer that space. Whereas these bigger agencies, they're more clunky because they're more established in a broad space. And so they could not possibly just rebrand their whole agency to tap into a very small space like the apparel and fashion space within the e-commerce sector. And so as humans, we have this thing called the in-group, out-group bias, and we want to use that to our advantage. And what I mean by this is by tapping into a specific niche within e-commerce, we literally have an unfair advantage because those e-com founders in that space that we reach out to, they're going to see us as pretty much the only agency that focuses on their space and that understands their space like no one else. And so from the very get-go, we have an advantage over a lot of agencies and we can sign clients much, much faster. But that is a little bit of a side tangent. Make sure that you pick a niche, incredibly important. Next thing you're going to do over the next two hours left is you're going to go ahead and pick a service. You want to make sure that you pick a revenue-driven service. For this, I either recommend paid ads, uh, Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, Snapchat ads, really any traffic source does the job. Yes, you know, maybe Facebook ads is a little bit more mature. Yes, you know, maybe uh, most uh, prospects are more accustomed to Facebook ads, but there's a ton of opportunity on other platforms. And in just a second, I'll share with you why the service is not super crucial in this whole equation. It's just important that you pick one. Or you can also go down the direct marketing route. So you can pick something like, SMS uh, marketing, you can pick chatbot marketing, you, or you can pick email marketing. Just go ahead and pick something that is revenue driven because at the end of the day, we want to make sure that our service is bulletproof. And the way you make it bulletproof is by being able to tell your client, 
hey, I spent this much for you, I made you this much, and this is why you're paying us. So that if the client wakes up on the wrong side of the bed one morning, you can clearly pinpoint your value and remind him or her why they're paying you. And the final key pillar is the irresistible offer. Now, a lot of creators out there talk about this concept, but they don't truly explain it. And so there's a lot of confusion regarding what an irresistible offer is. Very simply put, an irresistible offer is an offer that is outcome driven and not service driven. And so one of the major mistakes that most agency owners make when setting up their agency is they make their offer their service. Oh, I do Facebook ads. I do TikTok ads. Cool. So do a million different people, right? You're going to be price competitive because there's nothing that sets you apart. So the only differentiating factor is going to be on price. And that's not the end of the market that we want to uh, play in. And your offer is really not that enticing. And so what you need to do is you need to put together a process to results that is outcome driven for that specific niche. Let me give you an example. The other day, I was having a conversation with one of my students who wanted to do email marketing for the creator economy. And I told them, that's, that's all cool, but that is a service, right? That is not your offer. Your offer could be, for example, we help controversial YouTubers build a cancel culture proof audience by building out a highly engaged email list that brings in an extra 20% revenue every single month. That's just obviously an example, and I could give you a billion different examples, but the key thing to understand is that if you wanna have a successful agency that really takes off from the very get-go, you wanna make sure that your offer is not your service. No one cares about your service. It's really not a massive deal. I see so many people just give so much thought to their service. Your service is just a vehicle. For example, in this case, even marketing is just a vehicle, but the offer that is outcome driven, that's what your prospects in your niche uh, actually care about. And they'll really be bought in when they see that you understand their space like no one else, right? The example that I gave is obviously a very particular example. and just an example at the end of the day, but you get the point. On to stage three, which is gonna take four hours. So we're gonna have a little counter here, two hours that we just did. So now we're at four hours that we've put towards setting up our $100,000 social media marketing agency. Now to stage three, that's gonna take four hours. Then we're gonna go ahead and set up our social media. It's completely free. And one of the great things I love about social media, I'm, I'm building out what I call an organic profile funnel, is that it is one to many. And so if you look at most outreach methods out there, like for example, cold calling or sending out hundreds of cold uh, emails manually, those outreach methods is one to one. You send out an email to one person, you send out another email to one person, and it takes up a lot of time. And the key thing to build financial time location freedom is making sure that you remove your time from the equation. And so the great thing about social media is you can create a piece of content, you can have an appointment setter, for example, in the DMs, and you can invest 15 minutes, but you can reach hundreds of prospects in your pipeline, and that way you can get results much, much faster. We're gonna go ahead and optimize our Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And the main thing that we're gonna focus on right now is the bio, the social proof, and cleaning up our social media. So the first thing that we're gonna do is the bio, which is gonna be the outcome-driven irresistible offer. Then the social proof, you wanna determine what the main KPIs are for that specific platform. For example, with LinkedIn, you wanna make sure that you have 500 plus connections and a bunch of endorsements on your top skills. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a free live training on my free Facebook mastermind. There's gonna be a link in the description. You can go ahead and apply and check out that training. But essentially, you want to make sure that you have 500 plus connections, a bunch of endorsements, and finally, make sure that you clean up your social media. And that's going to take you about four hours. So let's add four hours to that counter. And phase four is all about building your A-team, which is going to take you the final remaining four hours. One of the reasons why I made you clean up your profile and really just make sure that you set it up correctly is because we're going to be reaching out to candidates for our team on social media. And at the end of the day, A players want to work with A players. So it pays dividends to have a pretty decent image. Again, it doesn't have to look perfect. Take imperfect action but just make sure that you clean things up. We're gonna mainly look for these people on Facebook groups, LinkedIn using the filter option where you can literally type in media buyer or you know ad specialist and you're gonna get a lot of options and also Upwork. On Facebook group, you can either post on the actual group or you can just identify who the top influencers are in the group, You know the people that are actually engaging, helping people out, commenting, replying to questions, et cetera, et cetera. And you can first add them as a friend and DM them personally about the fact that you're looking for someone for your team. What you're looking for that first hire is actually skill over hunger. So yes, you wanna make sure that you find a driven person that is hungry, but ultimately because it's your first hire and you probably don't know much about the service that you've actually chosen, you wanna make sure that you optimize for experience. The final thing I'll say is the reason why I like LinkedIn or uh, Facebook groups over Upwork is simply because if someone is on a Facebook group and they're engaging, they're helping people out, chances are they're the type of person that is driven to constantly improve themselves, constantly develop themselves into a better version. They're not on that Facebook group looking for jobs. And, and so that gives you a little bit of an indication and a pre-filter on what that person actually is like. And so those are the final four hours in the counter. And that is a 12 and that's that for this video, 12 hours on how to set up your $100,000 social media marketing agency. 
If you've enjoyed this and you want to see more trainings, make sure that you're sub to this channel. There's a lot of content coming your way, not only on social media marketing agency, entrepreneurship, habits, and much, much more. And if you want to check out that free training that I mentioned on how to actually create engaging content and a lot more stuff, there's going to be a link to the free Facebook mastermind. I'm capping at 10,000 members. We're very close to it, as you can probably see if you click on that link. And so if you're interested, make sure that you apply now. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.